Hello and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. The last video did rather well, so we're going to do something kind of similar, not really though, but similar enough. For today's video, I'm going to go through all the useful technology for ships, yourself, or even your Exocraft. Slightly exotic, not many people use Exocraft. These are just my opinion of useful tech in No Man's Sky, so if you have any more recommendations that can help me or others, then just let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's not waste any more time with the intro, let's get started with a more obvious, useful piece of tech. Of course, most long-time players of No Man's Sky are going to know about this first one, which is going to be the personal refiner. Whenever you need to refine something like oxygen or carbon, or in this case, I need some glass, then you can simply use this refiner attached to your backpack. There will be no more need to throw a portal refiner down on the ground and use up the oxygen and metal plating. However, you are going to have to charge this one unlike medium and large refiners that you can put in your base. But if you really want to show off, you can get the version 2 of the personal refiner, which means you can refine two things together as if it were a medium refiner. So I would definitely recommend getting this one. It's probably the best one on the list. You're going to be able to find all these blueprints for the tech at the back of the space anomaly in the blueprint section. Next to where you can find blueprints for base parts and blueprints for recipes. Another quite obvious useful bit of tech that many long time players probably have is the economy scanner. Which can be easily placed in your ship with just a few resources. When you have it installed, you can easily view the economy tier of a system, which will be a certain number of stars, 1 to 3. 3 obviously being the best economy, and 1 obviously being the worst economy. 2 is kind of an alright economy. Economy just determines how much resources that system has at its trade terminal, and also the ship class likeliness. So, if you go to a 3 star economy, you're more likely to get A's and S class, maybe B class. But if you go to a worse economy, you're less likely to find A and S class ships. Before you had this, you could only view the economy tier when you visited the system. But with this, you can determine whether the system has a good economy before you visit it. The tech also enables you to search for a trade outpost from your starship. A less used piece of tech which I find can be quite useful is the trade rocket. Probably not really useful, but it is very fun to watch. This can be installed on your exosuit, strangely enough, and can be charged with tritium whenever out of power. Its only use is to send stuff into space to be sold without having to visit a space station or trade terminal. I use it when my inventory is full, so it's probably more of an early game item as late game you should have access to more inventory space. But look how cool the trade rocket looks as it is taking off. Remember all of these can be found at the anomaly, this one is found at the exosuit upgrades. This next one might not appeal to some players or even most players but personally I think it's quite useful. The translator like lineup, so B to S I think the C class one would be the Artemis translator. Each being better than the next one so the S class obviously being the best. It can be used to decipher some alien words in a sentence. With the right knowledge and the translator, you can kind of make out what the aliens are actually saying, which I think is quite cool. This one, however, is definitely not as useful as my last suggestion for this video, the Exocraft Scanner. If you have the maxed out version of this, so the S tier one, then it is really useful for finding buildings. With it, you can select any type of structure from abandoned buildings to alien structures, saving time by not having to travel into space and finding the space station's cartographer, whilst also saving navigation data to spend on more exotic charts, such as a settlement map, which unfortunately cannot be used in the Exocraft radar. The radar can be attached to any Exocraft except the Nautilus and the Mech, which has its own special radar. The Nautilus, which has its own inbuilt sonar for underwater structures only. So abandoned buildings underwater and crashed ships when found underwater as well. Buildings can include abandoned buildings and even the exosuit upgrade like module pods, drop pods I think they're called, which is quite useful if you want to expand that inventory more so you don't have to use the trade rocket. Now that concludes my useful tech upgrades that I would recommend to most players, new and old. If this video has been useful and helpful, 
then maybe give it a like and if you want to see more just like this one and you've got this far in the video then maybe subscribe. Let me know your suggestions for other players in the comments and thank you for watching.